So this is one of those tips, one of those ways that I get merchandise. It's an OG way all the way around, old school for sure, on getting merchandise and not sinking cash into it. Now I can't tell you how many times we've come out so far ahead by trading versus just buying stuff outright. There's been cases where I bought a bunch of good stuff but I didn't want to have to ship it or list it. It would have been time consuming, fragile stuff like that and it's just not always worth the hassle or the time to do that. So many cases I've been able to trade items very little into them for some good stuff that I could move rather quickly or that I already had buyers for and I didn't have to worry about it at all. In some cases I can just call somebody or send them a message, a text, an email or something and get a response yes or no they want the items and it's sold immediately. I don't have to go through eBay a lot of the time if I don't want to. As long as you keep a list of who buys what, you interact with them, you supply them with stuff routinely, they're going to keep in touch with you. They're going to keep buying from you religiously. I go back to the old school days where I actually put out like newsletters with things, records we were selling and things like that, scarcer Northern Soul and, and more expensive records. And I'd put a list out and I'd send them out first come, first serve. And uh, that was old school way. We used to buy from Mile High comic books back in the day. You'd, you know, get a list from the back of a comic book and you'd mark down the ones you want in one of their forms. You'd mail it off with a postal money order back in the day and they'd send you the comic book. So that's what I used to do, and I've done it both ends. I've bought that way, and we've sold that way. So I don't mind trading up. I don't mind any of this kind of stuff. It's a good way, old school way, to actually get some good stuff in for, for little money. Again, trading up, trade for better stuff. If, as long as the other person's happy with it, there's nothing wrong with trading stuff you don't have a lot of money into or that you don't want to mess with or it's not worth your time. So we're going to see what's in here. Um, again, I've got about eight bucks into this box. I traded some HO scale trains, basically just box cars that I had. There were newer ones, 70s and 80s, Tyco and stuff, with someone my son knows. And he offered me a box of collectibles, old glassware from a deceased relative's estate. Um, they've been in a box for a very long time. This isn't a new looking box. I don't even know if they make these types of boxes anymore, but obviously it's been wrapped up for a long time. It looks like old tissue paper and it's got that musky scent to it. So we're just going to pull them on out. We'll see what we got in here. A uh, nice piece of art glass. Looks like it's fairly well made, well constructed. Now I'm not a big huge fan of a lot of the pottery and glass, but for, I don't know, a few cents a piece or whatever it'll end up being, I think I can deal with it. It's the type of things now I have space for, so I'll probably keep more and sell some more of these as uh, I get them in. But again, I, it's these types of deals, these old school deals where, you know, it's a barter system. I bet you, yeah, it's Nippon. Nice little two-handled dish here. Something like this, probably at an antique booth, 15 bucks or so. Something like this, 35 maybe or so. It has some nice artwork on it, as you can see. It's marked Nippon, um, hand-painted. It has the early style M logo there. Uh, it's a nice looking little piece. I don't see any issues with it anywhere. Again, 25 bucks or something like that. I don't know if I'll sell these on eBay or anything else, but you know, uh, for the price, for the fun of opening something up, you know, I think that's kind of neat. This just looks like a cheapo little uh, carnival style glass. Again, everything's not a winner. This looks like it's probably another one. Another one of those iridescent. I think you can see that. Let's see what else we got in here. Be nice if this was a pair. This looks like a little urn or something maybe. I haven't looked at these. These sat in a box for a very long time. Again, I'm not a big fan of, of glass and pottery. Usually sits for a while. This is marked warranted 22 karat gold. Nothing really fancy. A couple bucks probably at a thrift store or at an antique mall or something. Uh, this one has a lid to it. Looks like it might be hand painted. You can see a little image on there. Let's see what else we got. Yeah, it's a nice little Noritake made in Japan. M logo again. Nice little, it's probably like a sugar bowl or something. We'll have to see if maybe there's more to this set or not. 
Again, this is probably five or 10 bucks at a, at a antique mall or a booth or something like that. Let's see what we got, what do we got here? Oh, another lid, so yeah, here's, here's another piece to the same set. It looks like a little coffee pot. So that probably is a sugar bowl. That's it. Yeah, it's marked the same way. I do okay with Noritake. A little set like that might do okay if it's all here, but I'm not going to hold my breath that it's here. So it's like a coffee cup of some other pattern. Royal Sealy China Japan. It does look to be an earlier one. The inside looks like maybe it's stained from actually being used, or it could be dirt. I'll have to clean it up and see. I've done extremely well with cups and saucers. I actually have videos on cups and saucers. Let me take this coat off. And with the cups and saucers, I've always done extremely well. Um, even some of the common ones, if you have a cup and saucer set together, they usually do fairly good. Let's move this paper out of the way here. Let's see what else we got in here. Another one of those glasses, mugs, whatever you want to call them. Uh, and this does seem like it's another, yep, so I do have a pair of them. I would say that's what they were made to be done as. I don't know on age on these type, maybe they're Blinko or something, I don't really know. It's not my area of expertise glassware, especially the newer stuff. If it was older, I might have a better idea, but it's got an interesting pattern. It has some other glass melted into it, some streaks running down through it. Let's see what else we got in here. Another coffee cup, is it the same pattern as that other one? Yeah, it's the same one, so I've got two of these. Again, with the price into these, I figured I couldn't go wrong. You showed me the box, so this feels like a ginger, no, I guess it's not. It's another coffee pot of some kind. Let's take the lid off and see what we got here first. That might go to those coffee mugs that I just looked at. Maybe there's a mark on the bottom of this piece here. It's just paper on the inside. Warranted 22 karat gold, so nothing spectacular at all. In fact, we're just gonna put this one back in there, I think. It's not worth the time to take the rest of these out on that one. This is something that you'd probably sell at like a garage sale or a flea market for five bucks for a set of them or something, 10 bucks maybe if you're lucky. I don't set up like that, so I'm not gonna mess with it. Here's another glass, so there's four of those and a coffee pot. Might even be plates to it. Let's see what this piece is here. This might, yep, that's what my guess was. The other Noritake, so you've got a little coffee pot. Again, it's all hand painted, I'm very sure of that. You got the creamer and sugar right there. So that's a neat little set. Something like that, the whole set, all three pieces like that. I'd probably try and get 35 bucks or so out of them. Somebody will think it's cute would be the hopes of it. Uh, what do we got here? Okay, so there's another mug, it looks like. Is that a mug? Yeah, so there's another one of the mugs. We're just gonna set that aside, not open it up. And it looks like another one of the mugs. So I've got a service for six with a coffee pot. This is probably another one of those rows. Yeah, here's another one. Same, same thing. So I've got three of those. Let's get these plates out of here. It was a pretty full box. You know, there's quite a bit in here for that kind of money. I can't go wrong, I wouldn't think. I could probably take this to a local uh, antique store and have them mess with it for me. Take it to an auction, I'd probably do okay. That looks like it's probably from the 1930s or so. It's heavy, it's nicely made, probably depression era. It's almost got a glow like Vaseline glass. I'll probably just take a light to it just to make sure that there isn't something weird going on. But it's almost got like a yellowish green glow to it. I don't know the pattern for something like that. Is that the only one of those or is there another one? Maybe we got two of those, maybe. Yeah, so this is probably a pattern and that might actually be a plate for a set. Now I also got eight. There's eight of these plates here, and it looks like a pattern. It's all the same. I'm guessing maybe a sunflower or something like that. It does look vintage. All this stuff was pretty much vintage, so 
I would imagine these are as well too. Now, I don't know the pattern. I'll have to look them up. This might be in the book. If there's eight of them, it was obviously produced in at least somewhat of a number. If anybody knows any of these patterns out there, please let me know of any of the items you see in here, like the vases, the bud vases, or any of the stuff in here. So, I mean, I'd imagine these plates I could sell flower-wise. Locally, again, I could take these to a local live auction and just auction them off and not have to worry about them either. Now, also, I found in there, there was three of these, which are saucers for the Noritake set. So I've got three saucers, a coffee pot, a cream and sugar all going together. So, you know, 30 bucks, 35 bucks if I'm lucky. Got one more item out of the box, which was this. And it does look old. It almost has like a Vaseline glass look to it. So I might try it with a black light just to make sure. Uh, ultraviolet light to make sure there is anything going on with it. I doubt it, but you never know. I always test them out if I have any doubts. It just takes a second. I always keep a light handy anyway. So now I should make 40 or 50 bucks, I'd imagine. Even if I took these to one of the local auctions, they'd probably split up the plates. Nortaki stuff would go together and such forth like that. So who knows? This would be great for a flea market or a garage sale items here. You should be able to do pretty well. So for the money into it, I can't go wrong. This is a great way to get some merchandise without having to shell out any money. Again, I didn't shell out a dime. We just swapped some items for it and off I go. OG, old school, all the way. Anyway, that's what I have for you today. Hopefully that gave you some ideas, some thoughts. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button down below. You can also hit the bell icon to be notified if I post new content or go live. Subscribe and tell all your friends. and lights. Mmm, think someday I'll really be eating Jiffy Pop in outer space? I wouldn't go back there without it. Look for Jiffy Pop's special Goonies Glowing Cap Offer. See package for details.